Today we would be talking about some of the major vector borne diseases. Now there are various vectors that cause diseases and these lead to sickness. Now this sickness could be high fever, chills and different characteristics, different system, uh, sy symptoms for different diseases. What are the major vectors? Today we are going to understand that. So the first vector we talk about is mosquitoes, the most common ones and the most prevalent specifically in the tropical nations. The next is house flies. House flies are commonly seen where there is uh, no proper uh, hygiene that is being maintained. Then you have sand flies and testis fly, less commonly heard but very important diseases that are caused by sand flies and testis flies. Again cockroach seen mainly in the places where you have uh, improper sanitation that is maintained and unhygienic conditions that are maintained and finally rats again associated with those. Uh, now we have seen pandemics that have evolved due to vector borne diseases and vectors like rats where you had the great pandemics mainly in the regions of Italy and the Mediterranean region uh, that have been witnessed. Now coming on to the very first vector borne diseases which is caused by mosquitoes. We are common we have commonly heard about mosquitoes causing malaria, dengue, yellow fever. So these are some of the common uh, vector borne diseases which are caused by mosquitoes. However, there is another one uh, important disease and it is known as Lassa fever. It is caused by rats. Students commonly confuse that it is caused by mosquitoes but it is not mo mosquitoes, it is rats. So be very particular about those. Mosquitoes cause three major diseases. I repeat again, malaria, dengue and yellow fever. Malaria caused uh, by plasmodium, dengue caused by Aedes, very very important commonly asked. The next is house flies. Now what happens is house fly actually sit on contaminated food or the fecal waste and from that back onto the food, the exposed, the uncovered, the open food and as a result they transmit the germs from one place to another. The two common diseases that are caused by house fly are cholera and typhoid. So two common diseases by housefly are cholera and typhoid. Typhoid is again caused by another vector which is cockroach. So be very very important if it is a question typhoid is caused by which vector? Both the options would be correct housefly as well as cockroach. However when it comes to housefly it is cholera and typhoid. I hope you understand what we are trying to bring up here. When it is the disease that is asked that is typhoid. It is caused by both housefly as well as cockroaches. Now the next is the vector borne disease caused by sand fly. Now sand fly causes a disease which is known as Kala Azar or also called as Leishmania. Leishmania is common where you have bristles that are seen onto the body surface and the next important less heard of is testis fly causing a very interesting disease which is known as sleeping sickness. As the name suggests it is a, a uh, it is a disease of sleeping okay so uh, it causes sleeping sickness the next is cockroaches cockroaches are seen where there is uh, improper sanitation that is maintained unhygienic unhealthy conditions that are maintained so we already remembered from cockroach we have typhoid besides typhoid there is also polio that is being spread to curb polio we have two vaccines the live and the attenuated vaccines those are in the name of salk and sabine vaccine in india we have the oral drops however uh, in in countries where polio has been eradicated, it is given as injectable form to avoid any transmission because of the foreign migration that occurs. The next is rats. Rats cause the disease which is known as plague. Now plague of Surat has been well heard. Similarly, in the regions of Italy, we had a great pandemic which was caused by, uh, which was caused by rats and that was plague long back. So those are some of the major vector borne disease to sum up again. Mosquitoes, house flies, cockroaches, rats, sand fly and testis fly are some of the most common vectors that we commonly hear about and the diseases related to it. Very very important topic for your Olympiad preparations, for your science quizzes. We would be covering many such short videos for you. Stay tuned. Have a wonderful day.